How's it going guys? This is Amastoria back in the next video and today we'll be discussing four topics of routing. Number one, what is routing? Number two, advantages of routing. Number three, disadvantages of routing. Phone, how to get your specific device routed. So first, let's understand what is routing. Suppose if I make you the student of a school. Being a student, you don't have much control over the school. But what if I make you the principal of that school? Being the principal, you may have a lot of control over your school. Similarly, being a normal user, you could use your phone to make calls, change wallpaper, receive files, send files, use the internet, etc. But what if I make you the principal of your own device? Like principal means you will, you will be having a lot of control over your device. Routing will give you the permission of, of the whole device. You'll have control over your whole device. You could do anything and everything that you want you, with your device. Being that, earlier, for example, taking a screenshot required routing. But in now times, screenshots are built in. You could press the desired key or, of your device and you'll get a screenshot. Earlier, tethering was not also included. You have to route your device, then you could tether your device. But now, it's all included. On the other side, routing and iOS device is called jailbreaking. You can jailbreak, jailbreak your uh, iPods, iPads, iPhones, etc. And on Android side, you have routing. Now let's see about the advantages of routing. Well, routing has a ton of advantages. For example, you may have route specific app, for example, Wi-Fi Kill. Wi-Fi Kill is an app which will help you to kill any device connected to your Wi-Fi network instantaneously. For example, you are working with a device and after working you see that the uh, speed of your device, instant speed of your device is slowing down a bit. Now you are thinking that there are many people in the room who are using the same Wi-Fi network that you are connected to and you use a Wi-Fi kill application, granted super user permission and then you kill. After killing all the for, uh, phones or devices that are using the same Wi-Fi network won't be using the same Wi-Fi network because you have just killed their Wi-Fi and it's only working with your device but 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 do not use it at any public places only use it at the place where you have been granted permission to use it or you know it is safe to use do not use it anywhere else well this is not only the advantage of routing you may have many advantages for example change the boot animation of your device change the whole ROM of your device overclock your CPU underclock your CPU specific root apps for battery saving etc well those were the advantages but now what about the disadvantages well routing has few disadvantages for example you may break your device while routing for example if you are routing your device and you do not follow the correct steps of rooting your device then you may break your device there are two types of breaking soft break and hard break hard break is like your device is just like a brick it cannot be recovered it's gone just forget about device but on the other side soft breaking is just like boot looping your phone will develop a boot loop or it will be stuck at the boot animation or etc but it could be fixed on the other hand you may also void your warranty Voiding your warranty is specific to few manufacturers, but it is not specific to all manufacturers. And another disadvantage is by routing is that if you root your device and if you overclock your device, and if you overclock it by a tremendous amount, like if your device is 2 GHz, suppose if your device is a 2 GHz uh, quad core processor and you try to make it a 2.5 GHz quad core processor, then you may end up having a uh, uh, stove yes your device will heat up tremendously and be because of the extreme amount of load but you may overclock it to 2.2 or 2.1 that's it don't go like insane and the last part is how to root your device well rooting your device is specific to all phones like for Samsung Galaxy Note 4 it is different and Samsung Galaxy Note 3 it is different Rooting is actually very tough for those people who have phones which are not very uh, famous or well, uh, people are not very well aware of. For example, I had my previous phone, it was a Micromax phone and uh, rooting that device was a tremendous headache. 
I searched the net for two months and then I got my device through it. But for example, if you have a famous device which people are well aware of, for example, Samsung Galaxy S5, S5, uh, it's a well-known device, Samsung's device, then you may have a large amount of community that will be showing how to root your device, how to have custom ROMs, blah, blah, blah with your device. So, if you have a low-end device which people are not aware of, then you should use specific apps such as SRS root, one-click root, or towel root, blah, blah, blah. And on the other hand, if you have a, a well-known device, then you should probably Google it by saying how to root and adding the name of your specific device and then you'll get the first link and just go on it and if you see a lot of comments good comments like yeah the, it really worked it worked for me it, well, you're awesome it's it's really helpful then just go with those uh, steps and then get your device rooted but if you see hated comments like no what bullshit it's not working it's blah 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 it's like break my device it's blah 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 yeah then do not just avoid that step otherwise you will break your device so that's it guys this is my whole routing guide and if you liked it enjoyed it and really thought that it was helpful then give it a like and comment down below and um, that's it that's it bye guys this is Amstaria signing off